What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to day 68 of Onshape. We're going to be making our bear cam assembly work today. I'm going to showcase a couple of other tools that might be helpful. So with that being said, if you haven't made your barrel cam yet, go watch day 67, make it happen. If you've watched some of my other videos, day kind of 38 through 45 on making our automata, what I want you to do is go ahead and make those box, make this box right here and have all these parts you see right here. The only part I made off screen, not really on video, is that the top of our box with a slot going through the top. I have a feeling if you've been watching for so long, you probably can make that on your own, not worth making a video for. But if you notice, on my mate features, we have nothing else there. No mates, nothing else. Because I want to show you a really cool feature, and that is grouping. I've got all these parts here, and in reference to each other, they're in the spot they need to be. So let's group them. So my side walls of my box are actually going to be grouped together. And so what that'll do is that'll allow the box to move as a unit, and I didn't have to do a single mate. Ah, oh, it's so great. Let's do another group of our crankshaft. And our crankshaft now moves as a unit. Oh, so awesome. And then last one, but surely not least, the follower rod with the foot. Now let's start to throw in some of our mates. Let's do, well, before we do any of those, we need to take something and fix it. So right click on bottom and that way our bottom does not move, which means our box does not move, which means any mates we start to do constrain should work as expected. Keyword should. All right, let's do our first revolute mate. So the inside of our crankshaft cap is going to rotate along the outside of this box. Hit the green check mark. We're going to go for a fastened mate between our barrel cam and the crankshaft. It's probably got a little bit of an offset, about 1.5 inches. Everything looks good so far. However, just to make sure, we're going to go ahead and animate it just to make sure everything works as expected. Okay, let's keep going. Now here's where things get a little bit different. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put in consideration what is the distance between the valley here, I'm going to call this valley of the barrel cam, and this inside edge right here. And I noticed that it's a minimum distance of 1.6 inches. That's going to be an important number here in a second. Because we're going to put in our follower rod and we're going to set that distance. So let's click on pin slot mate, something we've never done before. And we're going to go to the bottom of this follower. So I'm going to hold shift, that way I can click the center of that face. Rotate this around. Hold down shift again, that way I can click the center of that slot and have no problems. Click play. Now, does the follower foot go in the motion of direction I expect? Yes, everything looks good. The only thing we have to do now is work on this offset. So this offset is going to be that 1.6 inches. Okay. Notice how it's not quite touching it. So instead of 1.6, let's do 1.65. I'm going to bring this on over, and there we go. Here's a couple reasons why I had to remake this video so many times. Make sure you don't accidentally deselect or reselect a mate here when you're trying to figure out that distance. But we want the ball to touch this face right here. You don't want it to go through. Okay, everything looks good so far. The last thing we need to do is to do a tangent mate between this face and this edge. Now, I don't like the edge on the way it populated, so I'm going to deselect it. I'm going to try to find a better edge for us to work on. I know there's an edge in here that will work. We just have to find it. There we go. So what was happened earlier is that the edge I selected wasn't a continuous edge all the way through the barrel cam. So we notice this line I selected, this corner, goes all the way around and comes back. So that tells me it's a continuous line or a continuous edge. 
and I can use it for the tangent mate to go all the way around the barrel cam. Okay, now if, and this is a big if, if everything works well and we're all happy with each other, we should be able to hit right click, animate on that revolute, and click play. I do expect there to be some issues from time to time. Here's where a couple of those troubleshooting things came from. If this follower foot uh, is too far in or too far away from the valley and not touching, that can create an error. The second one is this edge right here needs to be continuous all the way around. We already talked about that. One thing that tend to happen every once in a while when I was doing this, what if my follower foot is on the inside? Let's see if I can do that. What if it's actually going through my barrel cam and it's tangent to the wrong edge? That's a super easy fix. All you have to do is take your follower foot, go as far to the left as you can. It will move it to the outside of that body and you should be able to animate. Oh, let's try that again. Right click, animate, hit play. I knew there's gonna be an issues here, so let's, let's look at it. Let's, let's fix our own issues rather than start from scratch. If I click on animate and click play, it'll say some instances can't be created or it does this instance. I want to see if a couple of things, and this is what troubleshooting looks like for me. If I take my tangent mate and I flip that primary axis, I wonder if that will fix my issue. Nope. Let's try doing that, fix again. Let's drag it on the inside. Let's drag it to the outside. And click animate. There we go. All right, there we go. There was the fix, guys. Like I'm saying, this wasn't a perfect thing, and I wanted to show you kind of how I did some troubleshooting to get through it on myself. But everything works kind of as expected now. Cool. We get to breathe a little easy. <sighs> One thing we're going to have to do is in order to make sure this works correctly in a physical model is we're going to have to throw some collars in there to prevent this follower rod from canter leaving one way or the other or uh, kind of getting out of whack or out of axis. So we're going to do a fasten mate and we're going to put a collar on the top and we're going to put a collar on the bottom. Let's do an offset in the Z direction. 2.5 is too much. So let's do 2.375. That looks pretty good. That looks pretty flush. Looks a little too much, actually. Let's go back in that fasten. What is going to be a difference between, uh, let's do 325. That's going to be too much, though. Oh, it's going to be 3. Oh. 2. And, oh, that's going to be, what's, what's the between a quarter and three-eighths? That's going to be four-sixteenths, five-sixteenths. So plus five-sixteenths, is that going to be right? Ah, oh, come on. I'm just going to do that for now, for the sake of video. I was going to try to get excited with it, but now my brain's locking up. In any case, we got the top one on. Let's throw our bottom collar on. So we actually copy and paste that if we want to. Do a, actually, you know what? Let's big brain it. Let's do a linear pattern. Let's take this top collar, go in this direction, and for that distance between, I don't know, let's try three quarters of an inch. Hey, hey, that looks like it fits pretty well on the bottom. And there we go, folks. We have, for the most part, a working barrel cam with a sliding action, and that's just too fun. All right, a couple of things as updates heading your way. I really, really enjoy that people reaching out and say, hey, can you make this? I would, I'm going to follow up with those videos as quickly as I can. Second thing I want to reach out to is a one Mr. John Reed, who's done a wonderful job of critiquing and commenting and helping me kind of grow this channel. John's been with me since kind of almost day one. He's been around for quite some time. So that being said, thank you, John. Thank you to your class. 
If they want to have something special done, absolutely, I'd love to make a follow-up video just for you guys. In any case, I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.